Hi. <coughs> I welcome everybody to join in tonight. Um, I'm just a little sick, so you might be hearing me cough. You might be hearing me lose my voice. But tonight, we're going to do a little change up to our schedule. Um, will it return to Undertale? Maybe. Uh, was it really an enjoying it? If you saw some of the playthroughs, but we might go back to finish it. But tonight, we're gonna do at least try and solve throughout the whole evening the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, this is a free to play game from Sega. Yes, Sega released this. And part of the reason why we're playing this, well, this came out this year, may have gone unnoticed. By a few people. Uh, but then the news came out, a certain criminal, officially charged, officially, uh, you know, incarcerated, criminal, related to this blue hedgehog, well, more to a Pikachu version of this hedgehog, is now back walking the internet streets. So, we Welcome everybody to join in the chat as we try to solve this murder. Let's go to the game. Um, let me first fix the audio. You guys can hear their lovely audio. I don't know if there's any speak in, uh, speaking roles. We'll read them otherwise. Phew. And they train on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Who the hell is this character? This must be us. So far, good for my first day on the job. Totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Let me just sign my name here. Hi. I, 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 did I spell that right? That's my name. Don't worry now. Now the passengers can read my scribble. Trust me, that ain't scribble. We're gonna reel in this game while we're at it, too. It, it's, it's Sonic. Um. We'll also go over some of my feelings of Sonic over the years, because I grew up as the target audience for Sonic's release. Um, as a kid of the 80s to 90s, they really wanted us to play Sonic. So. <clears throat> oh, I'm nervous. We're my first day on the job, Jitters. Work in the train and dining car can't be so bad. Come on, I shake it up. Up. Oh. All right. Did I, uh, see you hitting yourself? It's your conductor, sir. What are you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite all right, myself. Uh, oh, feeling a bit bitter, a little bit bittersweet. Is that because you're sweet? Try to butter me up on the first day already. Yeah, baby. That's... And last day as a conductor. I'm retired after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Well, congratulations on your retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got out her plane tickets. It's Agana. Lots. Agana. Oh, shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <sighs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of the quibbles. Today's your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for tonight. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory at any time and view the items that I received. I should look over the menu carefully. 
chili dog, rotten, chicken cordon bleu. Well, let's see if we have a poison chili dog. Looks good, thank you. 
Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle, gentle, to and sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkly jelly with me too. It's my first day. I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkly jelly and better. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, if you need anything, just let me know. Thank goodness. Someone's train is normal. No, 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 no. We are not normal. Come on. We like some sort of sparkly gelatin of some unknown substance. And we're talking to fur animals. Shall we talk to Sonic? Check it, please. Kindly and happy to have someone around as yourself on board. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kid swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. Can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat the thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he Sonic? Sonic the Hedgehog? The Sonic Man? Promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun. Yes, have fun. Will do. Thanks. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Yeah, sure, of course. Gentlemen of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something to miss, sir. Seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Just speak up a bit. Look right here. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where. It's not hiding his embarrassment very well. No. Actually. We uh, may be able to help you. Ah, uh, why don't you show a friend where we picked up? This one. Well, that's it. That's my ticket. Thanks so much. You both. Really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. <coughs> Not the best night to do this. But hey! <laughs> oh, uh, hey, I hear. We're gonna have their hands full kicking out, you, kicking you out. Yeah, you're right. Wouldn't leave it without a fight. <laughs> Wait. Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Both all right, my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Yummy, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Ah, those are for the guests, you know. Green, be sure I only get one of those if they ask. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a uh, train conductor wants me to have the whole foot. <laughs> Good try, young and fun. Train and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that. Get what you want. Crap. Those snacks look really tasty, too. But please show me your ticket. But of course. Excellent. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Just call this about him. Oh, that's a him. Okay. Something about his presence put me at ease. You're considering... Considering me... Are you consider me calming? 
Do consider me calling. He's looking right at me. I study Nijutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh wow. Nijutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you clean the walls? Clean the walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug to answer that. Alright. Now, now, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save Shadow at the end. Could you please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, Miss. Thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday present. Festive. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And the murder mystery chain just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves the good, true crime podcast. Actually, I kind of do too. But I've been dealing with some mediocre true crime podcasts. Maybe we should leave her and have her fun. Or we move along for you, Mish. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where did we use this? And lock the door to the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically traditional. Very useful. Well, use this wisely. Thank you. Alright. I don't know who this is. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. The princess should do myself. Must always be punctual. Princess? She say princess? If you mind, don't mind me asking. Are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stick, Princess. Party <coughs> ah! down my throat! Should I bow? Do I bow before, Princess? What are you doing? Please get up! And why can I not win with this group? Why, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Uh, can we hear your ticket? My, my, how good. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else she hear. Well, she's polite and very easy to talk to as well. Perhaps I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Did I have to kindly ask you for that back? Oh, this was yours. It must have slipped out here. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging a character. No, I'm the edgy one. Here. Thank you for everything's in order. Yeah, uh, you seem concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? You sell gift bags here. Uh, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get you. Is there her? Is that called? Hi. You're, sh you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Oh, no, I am good. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out the, everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. Uh, I 
I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And the train. Assist I if they need any help, won't you? Oh. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in a train. Excellent. I'll be off. Take my leave, everyone. Please have your phenomenal time. Don't worry about locking up the place either. The train's in state of the art and has systems dealing with all of that. For everyone else, please talk to I here if you need anything. Sounds good? Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye. I like that guy. Thank you all. For following the alpha guide I sent you. And you all look amazing. I trust you all read the lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of the mo m their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. We're not actually seeing gonna see murder! Sonic murder! Chip! Chip! I'm not gonna believe that! Oh, wait. It's a free game. Pretty. In the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest, suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for the characters. They will be playing. Participation is required from It Is My Birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you're a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally. That's where the captain would go. Um, no, no, this is a train. We don't put ship captains in charge of trains. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Undoubtedly. Knuckles, you're the sheriff. Run these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge. You're a business icon, and plays your tiny industry out in the casino. What's the difference? There is not. Mm, sounds like fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. I uh, hear yeah, that's Espio. We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. <laughs> and at last, not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be nosing around with everyone. Did you all get that? Yes. I was listening. I hope that's okay. Alright, you can help us ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's stationed and far from the map. As well, how convenient. Map is added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as followed. There's a murder amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant, however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim or get down. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out what has been done. The murderer will lie to get out of the being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set the timer for one hour. So everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds good. 
Sounds like everyone's ready. Everyone in your stations. Da da da. Da da da. Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have a good one. The same. That is awesome. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Neutral party. Makes sense to me. Even though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and picking or talking amongst one another. Everyone's taking has their roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. You know what character motives uh, motivations are, Amy? No. The Lord cards are confidential. No one knows. But the person who received them. My backstory is that I'm best friends with a pickly, a pickly that decided to join Doctor in the evil Doctor Eggman, picking my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nasty person turned journalist. I don't lie. This kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving! So fast! Grab on to something! What's going on? I am slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah. We're trapped in the microwave room. You're both awake? Yeah. Uh, seems the train has slowed down considerably. Everyone alright? Yeah. My head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. Train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. This is, is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. I, the, you get the door. Of course. Um. Seems the door's blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, it's fallen on the shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Huh? Hmm? Let's find another way out, and I'll, I'll start looking for clues. I'll search up again. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Take on everything you can around in the closet, and we'll show Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Now, Kenworth, I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our main guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flickety companion did. Happy to hear it. Now, let's get searching. Well, Amy's got a spoon. What floor sign keeping people alert and safe? 
Once I slip on something and some spilled cheese and a grocery star and no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow. Sonic's really fast, they say. Nope. But he was going uh, so fast, he also slipped on the juice. He slid in an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I guess. Alright. We got boxes, we got the shelf, we got a basket. Something's always in the trash, was not there? Sadly, and then Glad on the bright side. He's a very clean trash man. How could I become as optimistic as this kid? Shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. I look puffy at this. Wonder how the side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing on the shelf that could have fallen onto it. I'm sure the damage wasn't here before. The train has been too much upkeep. I feel like it's important. We should log it. Correct shelf added to your inventory. Uh, well, I mean, technically, the shelf's here. The fire extinguisher could have done that damage. But oh well. What do you think this is, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. Certainly. Never make my boy feels. I prefer to cut my cast iron skillet. Gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Alright, uh, what's this? What's this rod? Tip is broken. It looks like it's originally been attached to something. Not sure if it's really their mystery, but. I like spinning around, so we'll keep it. Take this out of the inventory. I think we found enough clothes. Let's interrogate Amy and what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we were too worried, we could dig ourselves out. Digs ourselves out on a train. Keep oh. Ah, it's gonna be the same thing. Alright, we're gonna interrogate her. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You're choosing me on my own birthday? How dare you! This is gonna be easy as it is. I've been stuck in here, just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before, Tails, and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted an escape. You think we're sitting idly while I and I were knocked out? You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it! Show me the evidence that I attempted to escape and help me search for a way out. Evidence to prove that? Amy, let me step the, through this. I have a correct uh, piece of evidence from your inventory. One that is produced, we must form an argument to fight back. Alright, let's do that. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? This one. Some damage on the shelf is evidence to prove something. It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Or gasping. Uh, okay, Tails. What now? Well, all of this train of thought, how did the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? I'll have to explain myself. Well, let's see. Well, um, hmm. I get stumped. I'd like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic, a force to be reckoned with. Always running forward and collecting rings and crushing pocketness. He never loses. Like an endless runner game? I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and fill your argument? Alright, let's prove by nice grasping. A train of thought and fire a comeback. I'll you with you. Uh, I know the answer! 
She moved her hand, or she moved her puzzle. Are you forcing me to do W, S, A, Bs? Yes, you are. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the freaking controls anyway. Well, kept was damaged here before we arrived. Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You said nothing was around the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with then? What is uh, that? A stick? Do you truly believe a stick can do that kind of damage? I see. There's technically six areas you can hold. And I'm completely missing everything. Ah. 
stick can't do this kind of damage on the shelf on its own. But if it were attached to something, it could, like say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? Actually, the handle your Pico Pico handle. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. You handled the hammer and snapped right off. What our job was. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our main guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care in you. I, my favorite employee. I just! Let me down on this last ride. <laughs> I don't even know you! <laughs> Maybe catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this, even as it's part of the game. I can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe. And after you see. Saloon car. Alright, first off, you broke a video game system. You piece of crap. Wow, look at this 
Mas... something. But why take it out on us? I know it's better than argue with Count Knuckles, so seems we're on our own. Hi, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate clues and then interact. Right, let's do that. Certainly we won't be able to give that game with Super Monkey Ball a try. Ooh, super monkey ball. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? Damage looks more caused from punches. Who could have done this? Yeah. Oh. Who likes to punch things? What are you looking at me for? Smashed arcade game with the out your inventory. What is it? Just 
you use cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles really thirsty? I, one has lipsticks on the rim. It's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. What are you talking about? Knuckles is red! That's red lipstick! You pieces of crap! Use cups added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. We found two tails! There's still more in the room! What about these peanuts? Maybe this trash can! Maybe the wanted poster! Decent cash for finding this robot. Maybe we can keep an eye out for it. Or a macho. It seems like this. What to do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Something's always tied in the dress. Let's check here. That lady is once in Kim's file. I'm sorry, Hunty. Your theory on something's always being in the dress is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. As you can say, one man's dress is another man's treasure. <laughs> Tails ignoring me. Ah, full of assortments. Classic saloon snack. Wow, no. Red, red. Uh, seems like someone let go of the salt off of them. What's up with me? Or maybe they're just on salt. Still, this is me! Alright, there's. Okay, there's more clothes here. Here we go. Howdy, partners! The rabbit arms here are really helpful. <laughs> What's the arm doing in my hair? It takes it up a bit. That's incredible. What an interesting tech. Uh, here my job a little bit. Alright, here's my answer. Real answer. Robotnik used the tray to kill Sonic. Robotnik again. Okay. Run thinking these. That's run The train passes by some incredible sights. I'm happy just traveling normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily, and I have to avoid things like roller coasters. Then why are you working on a train? <laughs> I don't mind roller coasters. I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding the carts. I never understand these friend group. Alright. Thought I told you to leave me alone. Like your hat. <laughs> that made him shut up. Knuckles, you blush! Said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's been used to being complimented. <laughs> Since you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better. Then leave. I take your order. Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, I'll let you know, won't you? Sure. But butler of sorts, right? Oh my. If you're not a butler, tell him that. I doubt like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, Butler. Hey! Don't call me Henry. Start the interrogation. Nichols, I am not here need to determine what you're doing during the what hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is. We have evidence, too. We do? I just took a good look at our inventory. It's distracting Knuckles during this time. The Sonic was murdered. This one. Arcade machine, huh? Well, they should think I touched it. 
You punched it, you piece of crap. Make this easier on us, I think. Hold on. No, that's a, that, no, that's a menu. I need options. Now, there's one thing we haven't done. We're going invincible. We're moving pitfalls. Run, Sam. Because we're here to solve a mystery, not freaking play where the freaking rings go. because Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game you're covered in punches whatever it is you have that those damages are punches what are you staring my hands for? Knuckles you clearly destroyed the arcade machine but why? needed a punching bag none were available for me just a sudden urge to punch huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine give us our answer. Uh, I'll, I'll win. I'm on it. I distract the ghost while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. <laughs> You're in trouble now. Because I don't give a crap about damage. Huh? I don't care. We're here to solve this in one night. Our pin machine is fixed. No. Don't look at the scores. Wait. I look at the scores. I'm pulling you up now. Well, what is this house? That you lost by one point, Knuckles. Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. <laughs> the picture being painted here, you competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. <clears throat> in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. <clears throat> He's punching the air in frustration. Guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove me where he was here now. Classic. Ba, 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 ba. Although, I don't see the red lipstick. 
stick being vectors. machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. Trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. That's my story, and alibi. I've already told you the abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend trip has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But the other one, the lipstick mark. It's Rouge. Rouge was here too. Um, but her lipstick is pink. And the lipstick on the cup is red. Inconsidental. Not been nothing mentioned. Search around for something but fail. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered a drink proper, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up. I told you everything that happened before the train sped. Are you not satisfied? Were you too relent? I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited the play games. Road couldn't find something to and left Knuckles to destroy the machine. That makes some sense. Thank you for answering so many of the questions. Actually, there's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Eh? I want to step back up to something I noticed. One more game on the high score list doesn't seem to make sense. I could you take a look one more time? An odd game on the high score list. What is it, Tails? Oh, I'm talking about. Knuckles, Toast, Apple, Bread. Awesome. Bagel, Candy? What is Tails talking about? Yeah. All the other names have food theme, but this one. Who goes by Awesome? May not know I, but there's someone here that goes by that title. Ultimate Life Farm. Really, someone here that goes by that? Yeah, it's called Shadow. The Edgy Hedgehog. He carries guns. Literally. Nothing speaks by you, does it, Bob? Vector and I were struggling so much in the game, but then Shadow dropped by. Shadow was here, too. Taught us the game. Was first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I fought to beat Shadow's score. They were both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete. <laughs> he gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, so no one else after the locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here, not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, he has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her, her that special birthday key. Well, 
I don't have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They don't tell me. Even though I asked with what that cowboy asked. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get here, but then you move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. Library's next car. I'll open and lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful of me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, guys. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. No, 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 no. I'm coming. What a freaking joke. Ready to mousey or mosey down to the next car. You got it, partner. I'm right. It is the library. One of the dumbest. But this train has a fireplace. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist, Amy Rose, is hot on the skip. I'm heading out. You've been fed with a sample. Already? Before you go, Espo and I wanted to give you your present. My presents? You rather say thank you. <laughs> Vector seems to have been more good guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the Vector pair needs help. Remember it, Big Gal? Uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This is a tip. It's just a But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you found the birthday girl. The birthday girl has the master key. Right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Uh, of course. It's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Darn, I feel for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language for us to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed handle, raw meat. I'm Espero, the poet. Poetry. And read us a message from the poet, the reader, meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? No! 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 <laughs> Teardrops in spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Diddly diddly diddly. Um. What the hell is that? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in spring. I'm satisfied for now. At least his rhyming is both. I and I are here to establish both your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, it's simple. We just blame this to Amy, actually. We were out. Uh, all set off. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic and all passed through the library car. Where Amy told me and Espo to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. 
Spectre got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rose? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup of the saloon car. Error! Error! Her lipstick's pink! Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. He heard a shout. No way! All the brochures stand over there. But she left back at the, to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. Obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got engrossed by rolling monkey action. Hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Guess he's walked through the library car and the casino car, again locking the door behind him. <coughs> then return to the lounge car, where it's meant to be stationed. When Vector came through, we realized Knuckles locked the door of the saloon car, and we were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. Or that's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Yeah. And, and that happened. Hmm. With all these locked cars, doors, Seems Vector and Espa couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for cooperation. We're gonna peek around and we're gonna return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you like to be serenade with a palm, I've got you covered. Ah, uh, thanks guys. Your elbows seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What are we looking in evidence that proves their saying's true? We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and the determine if Esper was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. <laughs> oh! Brochures! Your travel destination ideas here. Like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants, and oh! Look at this! It's a couple maps here! It seems to be a map of the library card. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map! Let's take it! Library card map up. <laughs> Should we take the brochure about the cave too? Looks to the line sight. Yeah, leave it. No! <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness of caves. We're gonna check the trash can again. Something's always hidden in the trash can. I said, but there's nothing there. Ah, oh, really thought there'd be something there. Hi, uh, you're sad that nothing was in the trash bin. Yeah, no, I'm all right. I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin. Will it find? Really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, trust are hiding secret. I'm sure of it. Are you pretty unconventional, Bob? I like that. What was that supposed to be, a compliment? Um... The brain room! We're really struggling cleaning up this car. Here, we can clean up this... All this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. So many 
ups and downs. If we had time to pick them up all, or pick up all of them. Wait, there's three books. You can't pick up three books. I have a freaking busted up left arm, yet I still carry two to three books in my job, which is violent. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled out a lot of these too, searching for something. What a reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor bucks. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. Oh! They'll be ruined! This kid feels empathy for everything. But oh, what's this one say? Chaos Coda. Our book club. Book of the month. Dog no. Uh, hang in there. A chow hanging precariously over a tree branch. Large text below read, reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little cow hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly. Manipulation. It's beautiful! This child gets sticky with principles in fine street that I can't do! There's no way that much, put that much thought in this poster. Right? No, 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 no. They didn't put any thought into that. A club. A marvelous planet. I haven't traveled much around. The islands are fun and all, but. I'd love to visit some of the other countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people, shop, and the big can't be me either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. Nectar was talking about Bagona. You ever been there? Ah, uh, I have actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. Is he a pickle? Is he actually a pickle? I must meet Professor Bickle and eat him. <laughs> He'll tell you everything about the area and make you one scrumptious sandwich. But does it have pickles? That's the important fact. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone. Been everywhere, haven't they? All right, yeah, that's a messed up world. It's only got two continents, and one looks like a fish. Uh, table. Ah, let's just take a pause and set for a second. These chairs are comfy. So plush, let's be right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. In fact. Maybe I'll rest here, okay? Hi. Don't fall asleep. I'm actually yawning. There's better matter in me. Remember? If I had a ring every time there was murder ruined by death time, I'd have a ring. Alright. Their, their stories check out. I'm going. Shadow supposedly walked through the library before going to the swing car. And Shadow left the library card and locked the door on his way out. Is that the reason he's doing this? Should we take a note of it? Yeah, I believe that. Shadow's locked added to your inventory. One problem. The lock is on this side. So how did Shadow lock the door on this side and go through the door? Somebody's lying. Did you bring me any meat to chop? Maybe a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before I was getting on the train. 
You actually tried to bring a knife on a tree? I'm a man of authenticity. Tails. With a knife, I'm just a chef and ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. Incorrect. A butcher is not a chef. Well, a chef can be a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you're the murderer. <laughs> what if I had hit the knife? Well, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the line of thought. Start interrogation. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't you look around a bit more? Never mind. All right, Tails. Where's the evidence? Huh? Huh? That's some bright red book. Oh, yeah. Reach some evil scientist, hey, Dr. Eggman. Yep, Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipe? Who cares? You wouldn't trust any book he's written. Weird, this isn't even here. Maybe people just appreciate a good novel. You know, maybe not be wrong. Um. Oh. Oops. Look over here. Boom! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, the big wouldn't hurt. Have any include book titles exactly? And a candy shop in case you just drink. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor, but everything, every book on these shelves is alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express manual? You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but this is interesting. Maybe make a note of this. I think we found enough clues. We found one! Jesus Christ! Last last night we had two! Monsieur Paul? No. No. Can I get away from you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want to either. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Wait, that's where. There's my lotion. Uh, thanks. Actually, you really like that one. Don't. Don't. It was horrible. Huh? Start interrogation. So, you two don't believe us, eh? It's not. Trust you either of you, but would be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. I and I are here to confirm two things. I bet they're left to go play games in the knuckles if Espero really was reading a library card. A library book. Vector, we'll start with you. Why don't you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present the evidence if you need. Oh, that's easy, I got bored. I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Victor enjoys being social. Plus. Plus, uh, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine and the saloon car. Oh, well, I figured you'd go check it out. <coughs> I'm dying! Ah! It seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. Then what brings your, our attention to you, Espero? Rouge entered the library card and found something in the left. He said immediately it started reading, but they were actually reading the entire time you were in the library card. Of course he was. Once Espero starts reading, it doesn't stop until it's done. You've seen it happen. It must have been a very good read. What was the book? Bro doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassed? It's kind of things do you 
think I read. And while talks, I have a punch on what you, what book might be. Punch on what book? I, can you help me out? Alright, what book do we think Asperger might be having been reading? We only have one book. Thank you. I think Asperger was reading instructions. What are we going to do possibly support this? Time to pointlessly gain rings. Oh, look at that. We've gained enough rings. can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring the passenger's safety. Seems like Esperel ate that one. I had him with another. Okay, which face should I choose? 231. What is Mirage's Express cancellation box? No refunds. You'll be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. The person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, I see this working at all three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick? Page 402, 16, 456. 56! 56! 56! What was implemented to support the conductor's duties to easy as general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assume smooth travel for the guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't be accessed in full suit of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No. It's safe at no. <laughs> Just kidding, you passed. No! No, he didn't. I completed the test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. But if you choked and jab, said no to my face, now I wish they riddle with please. He just rhyme a curse at me? Clearly read the manual, but those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. 
we both had nerve to ask questions with my body like that. Don't we... We, uh, don't we want to be supporting folks who can read? Who have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if it's true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Victor was only the one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being true. Well, you definitely read through the manual. I suppose we can. Espera, is that true? Victor is the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct, problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back that up. I? It's always putting me on the spot. Okay, I. Mm. Dude, dude, you're already proving that this is incorrect. But it's the lock. Shadow's lock? Please pray tell what this has to do anything. We're up, I. Let's get the argument together. Shadow had to go in and out. Good, I got 50. I walked through the library car to get to the saloon where he sat in the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it one night high score alone. Got some natural gamers. Espero said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back when Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car. Espero was fully seated reading his book for a good while at that point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So absolutely no way Shadow and Espero didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. And I mean, it was simple to slip up. It's just a fully immersed in my book and I didn't see notice Shadow. You're telling me... The sound of the doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I... you see... I sense Espero's demonstration. You're defending the argument that he was reading the entire time. That didn't be... So, I didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors. And at the moment, you were really, really in the library card at all. But you know, how would Espio leave? Shadow lock all the doors, and no one see Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery to me. My dear eye, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. Cool demeanor is vanishing. I'm so involved in my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass by through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, I even had to tap me on the shoulder to give me eye attention. Yeah, I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death. So, I ask you again, Esper. If you were here for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library card? I wasn't... I didn't... Doesn't even seem right to me. Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Maybe Esper was simply reading, or did he somehow vanish and not notice the library card? What should I do? Join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's under something. Just let him continue his question then. Ah, my favorite beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers of the train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuit will be tortured. Don't allow some old people's soul to get sued. That wasn't in the question earlier. Make sure the guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. 
we have a piece of evidence that we can answer all our problems. All right, my fellow Cersei, lay it on me. A piece of evidence shows Espir Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen another. All right, now let me get my thoughts in order. from one another, straight and path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen each other. Looks like you have a point. Where exactly on the map do you mean? Could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Um, how about right here? That confirms it. Then you see Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense when you never mention Shadow's return, Espio. There's no way you could have seen him. I apologize for using my cool back there. I thought it was grasping and desperate telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe in me now. Your alibi is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both answering all our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about. I'm glad everything straightened itself in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfortable. Likewise. I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially for Shadow. Oh, it seems the door next to the car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through either earlier. And that's clear for our to leave. See you later, Vector and Espen. Yeah, Matt. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll be keen to keep my poetry shop for you both. Please, please, no, no. A murder on the loose, while well, the doors kept getting locked. Tick tock. Or tick tick tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident or decked him. No, 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 no. I am not giving them this. No, no. Tails, you suck as a detective. Come on, I. Let's see what's next. You are ignoring clear clues. Are you sure you don't want to stay and look at the great books any longer? Mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Ugh. There's an elevator on the outside of the train. Hey, bring it. We gotta play the game! Well, the stuff's getting heavy and dumb. What I don't need. Fish, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said you've seen wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. I'll tell you about the warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the Lightweight Master with you. Ah, oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right, folks. We brought you up a lot. Can you explain? Oh. Well, then, Rouge, we're going to keep need the help. 
place. All right. I've been hunting for treasure where will it be stored here on the train. Treasure? You certainly didn't tell me about any treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business dude too, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what else there is, Rogue. A rouge. Rouge. All right. Well, it's a Fabrié Jean egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple dolls. I gave Amy her birthday present already. Everything's well taken care of. Oh, she left me in the hut immediately. I stayed here the while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced the Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? Actually here? Then what if you manage to find, Rish? Oh, well, don't you, uh, both take a look? I found the train blueprints in the library car with a safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. The train blueprints? Please, Rouge. Let us see that. Ooh, find your skipper's little sweetheart. There's a problem. You need assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator will find the security guard. Leads to the right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere. Without a guard's access card, we need to plan. We get a card to use the elevator. Our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Please, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issue here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, the latter lore card must be influencing our decision here. The latter breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Hi, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. I think only one square is you, microwave master. I must admit, wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation is permanent. All right, I'm in. Ah, uh, wow, we gave easily. Well, I suppose Bad Place and I are in. Okay, let's get that channel. Egg. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh boy, what have we got ourselves into? To access the Fabergé egg chain, behind the locked elevator door, the security guard has access guard. Do we? Distract the guard. Distract them? Perfect! We're all charming enough for that to win. It's actually a really nice thing to say. Hi! Is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Dude. It's my first day! <laughs> Seems like they don't know how to pay. If I'm gonna be in the casino, my poker face needs work. Who's distracting the security guard? Blaze. I think you could distract the guard, Blaze. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't bother. Yay, your voice is so stoic. I have chills.
Well, I trust her. Moving on. Why the distraction? And the child claw machine is stuck. Child with partner and kids. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Claw machine stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted. Rouge, how will you get the access card? Pick it in the pocket. I'll snatch the access card, no problem. A child in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. I, what's your plan? Tender Blaze is spell. Then you'll be marrying in the royal family? What's your heritage? Any war crimes that you know them? Well, um, there is that war. You know, when we decided to exterminate all the animals on this planet. Oh, no, wait, wait, that's it. Eggman, that's Eggman. Eggman, Eggman, yeah. The dress far too plain. You would need to be. Complete a refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'll have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. The card obtained. We need to blaze out of there. I was your man. Push the security guard over. With any violence here. It's just a push. The chow low to the ground, it wouldn't hurt them. But if it starts crying, it'd be an unwanted attention to us. Why is someone who cries easily a security guard? Isn't the point? Let's think of something else. Seriously. Seriously. Seriously! Say there's a drink without a coaster? You disappoint me, game. You disappoint me hard. Absolutely fire! I can think of nothing worse! Despicable! I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom! The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure! Great. With the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. Just like that. We all make it in the elevator inside me. Seeing a victory at your pile. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no. Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening up on their grip. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm so happy. This account is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's begin. Alright. Let's see what's up that elevator. Seriously. Seriously. Where did this come from? I knew the plan would go off of a hitch. We couldn't have had made this any far without both of you. You have my good attitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough. I must have added in executed in perfection. Enough chatter. Now let's claim the real prize. I have a safe code. Right here. 
on these blueprints. Let's claim the Fazbear J challenge. <laughs> no question. This has to be the big, the safe with the treasure. Get in the code with the blueprints. Find that out, run. Sweet. 23 of four. One. Wow. Here it is. I have it. All right. Or anyone else sees us. Let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. Don't be so hasty. You truly think that there's all there is to say? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made. Each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? Ah, oh, sure you can. All of you will bear witness to a secret. Here's... I don't know if you should. All of you need to do this. Twist this. Rouge, has no one lived to tell you the egg secret? Because the egg is a bomb? I think you're on to something. Oh, it sure sounds like a bomb. You need to start the egg now. Dispose of it. After all the hard work. Rish! Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do we put this thing? Excellent question. What should we do? Quick, put it back in the egg and see if it's working. Ah, fine, I'm going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. Oh, close the door. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How do we surprise you? We don't have the time. They did it. They did something else. Press the egg again. Great idea. Stop. It's clearly not working. Something else. Take one for the team. Here, give it to me. Get as far away as possible. Just remember me as a hero. I mean, that's what they want, who we do. That's a nightmare. Right. Kids are obviously not going to sacrifice their body to the scrawny. The game holds them to the best. Yeah. Let's think of something else quickly. I'm not smashing it. That blaze set the egg on fire. The tail's cool now with the tail. Stomp the egg. Rock the egg to sleep. Flip the egg upside down. Chaos control the egg anyway. Uh, I'll let Rouge kiss the egg. Tell the egg to stop. Let's finish ticking. Let it finish ticking and see what happens. Stop! That did nothing. I can't believe it did that. Are you insane? You want us to blow up? We need to disperse the bomb and I... That's our goal! Listen, I get that, but... What if the egg isn't... A bomb. Wait, that's right. I, I think you're in something. Huh? What's that right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry. This Espino did just say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train manual. <laughs> um, what efficient, exactly accurate technology was installed to system keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Ring v pads can perform a variety of tasks. They're all responsible for cleaning up the trash and messes afterwards. Robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring the passengers' safety. Those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a Fabergé K-Hog, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have been allowed it on. The only other person who knows is coming and going off the, of the train is the conductor. And he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, 
just wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg opened. It's oh, not a bomb at all. You both really were on to something. Yeah. My, my. What? Was that the only way to get the heart racing? I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, anyway. Hey, look what's inside! Wow, that's sparkle. It's heavy, too. The final secret of the chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. Exquisite. It's revolutionary. She's drooling all over the specter and sparkling heart of it. Oh, I must admit, it is stunning. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's very, very gosh and ugly. You said no one lived to tell Fabergé Chow Egg's secret. I wonder why the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they taught us as as tough as us don't know who cares what precious treasure our beauty behold to behold. Maybe naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with him. Uh, as much as fun as this man, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Alright, this answer. No one seems to be suspect of anything. The security guard is back in his post. Oh, they nice to do the drink coaster for fiend, okay? Thank you for your assistance. Assistance. The hunt was actually exactly the thrill I was speaking for. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer never to do it again. Now, Rish. Rish? She's completely absorbed into the dazzled. Chow. What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look. While I appreciate your assistance, it is I said, find us, keep us. I need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures. But I promise I'll let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of the sentence and make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. <laughs> well, we'll get out of your way from now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend. A fool, you go. Shadow, give me in rouge. One of those he passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can pin you forward. You know, not a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have much suspicion about Shadow. He's an unpredictable one. Good luck to you. Doors unlocked. Both of you, stay safe. Thank you, Abby. Love you. Come on, Ryan. Let's get out. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What the hell? We didn't even ask them questions. What the hell? <laughs> there. Ah! Seriously, seriously. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. The lounge car. <laughs> Now's as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. You know, you won't talk, but. I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. 
It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's unconceivable what you did. Hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Well, see what you say in, in the microwaves. Chili dog is delicious. I'd also like to know why I've been locking the doors throughout the strange shadow. Cause he's the locksmith! Jesus Christ, people. <laughs> well, it seems... It seems anybody already knows. Ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Oh, I. Seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright. Ready to find some answers, Dale. Undoubtedly. I, you could open the workshop, please? Sure. Wait. The reason you want me to do that? What? If something falls out, or worse, uh, something leaves out. I just won't think you should. Alright, watch your breath. <laughs> We're dead. And my headphone fell off. All this dust. You opened the door too fast and blew everywhere. <laughs> okay. I actually am coughing and sneezing. Uh, it's probably because of dust at work. Hmm. A keyring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting. There are only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Hearing added to your inventory. <laughs> Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Oh, the printer's surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah. Use your interface in the player, bud. One leg is stumpy. And here you are. Yep, that's exactly what I asked for. Uh, quietly sit back on the printer. It's the big band chow. Let's jam. That's it. That. That. That wasn't even a rim job, man. Rim job. <laughs> that was spiritual. I feel awake. No, no, no. That was that was crap. That was crap, man. You could have done much better. All right, Amy. in my interview. 
Lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How oh, lovely. It seems convenient. It's a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like you're using the computer here and must really need to use it. Alright, let's talk to Sonic. Or Shadow. <laughs> Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help with either with. I ask you to leave me be. That just stares close. Maybe we get out of here, actually. I, we currently will not. Hmm. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Well, bet more. No! How about, how, how about we get him to talk? Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip it up right away. No better combination. The marshmallows should be perfect. And coffee? You sick! Sick! Sick fox! Took every muscle in my body to... No! 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 Do not agree with him! That is horrible! Do not let him do that! Another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it doing something? Oh no, I uh, just give it a shot. Hey robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five? Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. I, we can't move until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I was getting that ahead of myself. you brought on board. But you had your hammer the whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. We should have known. Yes. Right along with bird law. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. No, because if it's my birthday and I want to commit genocide, no, that would be loud. If I want to break a, you know, rob a bank, still not allowed. I don't get to order things around for my birthday. I feel ripped off. <laughs> now, no more questions. When you're ready to chum Shadow, talk to him. I'm ready. Take your order. I'm not hoarding a single thing that we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner afterward. Otherwise, I'll get a full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities, so respect that. It just makes sense. Ah, trash can. I missed the trash can. Tails. No! Tails! I think we should check the trash bin! Every trash bin has been empty, I. You've been disappointed every time! You going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin I There's always something in the trash bin Sorry Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? 
You have. Someone printed out a front page on the ticket website. It's for a band, Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Pretty sure this isn't just trash. <laughs> I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Of paper added to inventory. I think we found enough clues. Seriously? You wanted the trash? If I could reach inside this game, I would kill Tails! Why'd you come over here? Interrogate. We have questions for you. Will you get in three get out? I'm busy. Said I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we have questions for everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and I know why. Pray tell. Why was I locking the doors? Hey, time to get my hot tip! I'll have you ready for the skip on that! I yours truly! We're ready. Ready with that, the next car is the adventure's car for Sonic the Station. The door right here in the lounge car is the only door that needs to go to the car following. So, Chad, I was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So, do you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and locked all the others so no one, no more, so one door was, was suspicious. Here, Conjecture, you all get up and leave me be. Well, my source backs up these claims. They were made out of this. I'm not honest, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went through the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped. Couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless, reckless speculation. If the logic sound was said to Sonic, Shadow trapping Sonic. I'll play along and follow on the train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door in the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think I can explain the car change, however. I, what evidence do you have that shows Sonic could have gotten into the dining car? The secret door. Okay. Just get my thoughts in order. <laughs> AKA, just take off freaking rings. Is it in a game theory? This is a dumb 
theory. Because, Amy, you're pregnant. I am the pregnant evidence in that cup. I think you might have to skip. Seems Dale and I were more thorough than you. Shetta is not going to talk. Then I'll humor you once again. The shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car. And how did Espero and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it'd be hard to see around a few people. I surely guess it's... Oh, well, Espero and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles. He wouldn't have seen Shadow in either library car. behind the bookshelf and the table reading. Espero and Nini, learning to tell. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterate Knuckles and Vector in whatever game I left in the salon car, I spent some time looking for Espero. But he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you. You're currently my number one. Why were you even searching for Espero, huh? You must know. I need to give him a key. As if my little watchman be giving away his key. Chad has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been unable or able to unlock the next door for us. I did know that. Perhaps I and I can further validate Shadow's claim. What do we do? What? I. What evidence is for the Shadow claim? He's giving the keys away. So I got two keys left. That sounds good. Now, how about we toss some more? Let's collect rings! To prove our point! There's only one reason, actually, two keys are on that thing. As for the two keys, shut I'm to give Espero and Becker. No way! Well, one of his own key. Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Away. That was 
keeps locking the doors to keep us away. Not us, I. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Andy away. Seriously, what is with that dumb mini game? You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What's that? He found this in the trash bin, next to the printer. It's a bad stick at the website. Tails, don't! brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. Remember, Amy had seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed out the homepage. <coughs> Speaking of, time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. But I began locking all the doors. But 
first but the safety for everyone. I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It did work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. That's because the conductor gave you a key. This key opens any door on the train. I can through any door with ease. I didn't pay the ball. The birthday key. Should have guessed. Well known privilege. Shut up. I kissed her. Your gesture is so sweet. After all, I kissed you too. Ah, oh, this. Let's buy the tickets later and make up to you. You can come with me. Uh, I don't know it. Birthday, Amy. I expect a lot of pictures from the concert you do. <laughs> the mystery of shadows locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. It wasn't a hot tip for leaving me to leave shadows behind everything. My credibility is a germ. It was my brother who found the train. Amy, I'm curious who this source of you you had is big skip. I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join you as well. I'm super we're more than happy to have you both. I, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Pieces are coming together. All pictures are becoming clearer and clearer. The end. Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's burger and frick it. Right on. Let's do it. Ready to get a conductor shark? Let's go. Conductor Kaka. Should I really sort out my evidence before I continue? My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That is odd. I haven't seen him around throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. <laughs> this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. What's the say? On the mud. Papa Joe in your hand, wife by your side. Paradise. Alright. We get it. He loves his wife. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Ah, how creepy. That arm's powerful. That'd be tough to break it out of its grip. A lot of people here have strength to tear this off. But that question is why. Complication definitely occurred in this room. We should lock this. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Says, aye. More to our understanding of the situation. Huh, what's this? Somebody playing with darts? That's not a throwing dart. It's a blow dart. Someone bought a weapon under this train. That shouldn't be possible. Trent Tails is right. The train detects any weapons in the passengers before letting them on board. Let's make a note of this. Blood Heart is out of your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's have Amy and solve it once and for all. I want to see the picture. Oh, the picture looks so young in his uniform. He's been here since a long time. 32 years, he told me, and finally retiring. So he's headed for Spragana with his wife. Hope they have a great trip. Thirty-two years! Long time for them to laugh at me! 
Many views your sorrow to be blue. Yeah, I miss that too. But you two, you think you have enough evidence to call me everyone here? It's high time we name the suspect. What do you think, I? Are you ready to solve the case? Yes. Everyone here? Is the Berkeley girl speaking? Please report to conduct a crime at once. Let's get this done. Sonic showing up. Back there? Real quick, can you come with me and get Sonic? He must be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darling. It's been a delight. A delight? The narrative here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like a thrill of a mystery. Now, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you see. Like I said. The train has so many amenities. I feel so... Traitor. Too. Admittedly, <gasps> I've been having a lot of fun myself. Give me a chase. I see why you're detectives outside of the mystery, Esperia. You and I have a lot of good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I'm but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do a little bit like this again. It says here on the train. Those escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Come in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we can ride the train just to relax sometime. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! What in the world? That was Amy's voice. Excuse me, that was Amy's voice. Yeah, quick, where's Amy? He's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why is he not moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? Faint up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down to here. Vector, make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? I'm in her thing, Alice. This really have been one of us. There's no one else here, Knuckles. So again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. That was not a good handled anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to finish this out, or figure this out, exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic. He's really hurt this whole time. And I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, I... I have a big question to ask. Who's in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? The correct answer is... None of them. None. But more than likely, it's Espero. Espero. You're the one that murdered Spawn, weren't you? I did no such thing to my brown friend. But it battled which you wish. I'd love to discuss. Let's discuss. 
What are you excusing us, bro? Already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espero's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espero was locked on the library card reading. He only had access to the salon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Hi, could you fill in everyone in? What did you find that brings Espero's alibi? We discovered the hidden passage. I'm bringing the tales of my find it out. In the lounge car. In the lounge car, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel luckily we found it. Not only would Espera have avoided any locked doors, but it would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions but then the flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? That's true. You didn't miss a question. But I think I and I can explain that too, I. How did Espero know everything on the train manual he was reading? Like a ninja, he's a speed reader. Espero is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably dissident. What are you getting at? He picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book. I know. It's talented bunch, but it seems like a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espero is particularly skilled. I've known Espero a long time. Once he read a book I was reading, just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> I'm right. Espero quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. Then Espero could have met Sonic the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're talking of what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was it I to know that the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espero even have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. I and I might have the evidence to answer that question, but we know someone who does. Who here has the evidence to prove Espero knew about the hidden passage? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole the blueprints. I see what blueprints you stole blueprints. Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. Right here. Blueprint in the entire train. Espero could have easily used it to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, I. You have an answer for him? How could Espero have seen those blueprints? Espero found them before Rouge. Where did you find the blueprints? Uh, the library car. It was stuffed in with the brochures. He checked the saloon car first and then found the blueprints after leaving. So it means Espero had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espero looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Annie's guidelines, the murderer could kill a single participant however they chose. The logistics are still vague, but I and I have the evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I am sure how much harm us rogue caused Sonic, but I and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, that's rich. Great, uh, If I murder Sonic, how did I do it? But our... Okay, now I'll form my argument. Should have gotten this. I missed the rings. Ah, what the? No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop it. Ah, you hear my voice.
room. Blue. Espera used this to knock Sonic unconscious. So, what do you mean? Sonic might have been knocked out? I'm sure he's more banged up than a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as guilt for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are so many holes in it? You can't... you deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present you a first fatal flaw. If I knock Sonic out in the conductor's car, then how does Sonic find in the dining car? Ah, uh, shoot, that's a good point, but he also's on something I think I'm sure of. Locked all the doors. This bro didn't have a key. Would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. I and I know another way it could have been done. We do? Savannah's, we do need to take a closer look. A train now. Oh, this is the right direction. Evidence is showing another route. Only this right direction. Alright, now what's my argument? Getting closer, big guy. I mean, I can't fault it because it's a Sonic game, but seriously. Son. There's a path above the conductor car. Goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Some sort of long attic. According to blueprints, there's an passage in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through a vent over there. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word, there's a path back in there. And a track. A track? Huh? Track for the robotic arms, I think. This must be a path the arms take to move through the train. So you're saying it somehow fit with Sonic and the vents and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid. So you didn't realize we both couldn't fit up there? I suppose right. Billy flimsy tails. Bill, I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Huh. Now I think about my heart. saw the broken ar robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of those robot arms was casualty. But if one robot arm actually caught Sonic, Knuckles said there's a track the robots use to continue through the vents. Robot arm could be used, could have grabbed Sonic and passed him out from a blow dart. Carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? 
take a look at Sonic. He's fully banged up. Could have been between Sonic and the robot arms. I see. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory. Tails. But you have to admit, there are a lot of coincidences. I might be able to link everything, especially the Espero, yet. But I found one inconsistent. What kind of inconsistent? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from Espero, who received that information. Who received that information? Um. Maybe. Amy, you refused and received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us who the scoop came from. Tails, you're right. Espero lied to me. Espero told me Sonic was, or Shadow was blocking the doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. The scoop came from you, Espero. The first scoop came from you. Uh, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes. I said Sonic's going to get trapped with all of these locked doors. I was going just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I don't blame you, Shadow. I don't know, Esperance. What? The evidence might be airtight, not be airtight. There's a lot of being thrown at you. That makes sense. I have to agree. You want to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you stationed in the room with a hidden passage. <laughs> and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all dates. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than the cause of doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone, and that could only have been one person. It was you, Esperio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey guys! Sonic! Get up there! Sonic! <laughs> Just as we solved the mystery. As for us, the murderer. Right. Esper jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it. You got me. Blood art, though. Really? Not lethal poison. Just sleepy for a while. <coughs> Great. I can use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The trains. Bandic. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need a lie down? What did I say? We need to get this off the train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived, the drone doctor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the feature of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source, but the conductor hadn't even seen it. When he took a look at look, we realized the train's powered by a finicky. Finicky, the tiny animal. There's only one person twisted enough to use a finicky as power, sir. Don't dare, Eggman! Dun dun dun! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, 
more than simple panic. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. No, I'm not serious. They certainly didn't lie to me that <laughs> tell me that in the during the interview. Right. You saw the panicky? I felt the sting in my shoulder. The blood art desperate. Lights in the room started to glow red. Hey! Stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong. Stood up. The arm schemes next to me. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail, and it was on. Wow! I'm amazed he's able to do that, even if poison. Another robot arm managed to grab me, pin me into the floor. Um, the doctor screamed as his arm, the arms approached him, but it was quite a hit before, a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hitchhog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation can't be so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with the blood up and they die. You're crazy. This is a make believe game. No one should get hit with a blowdown. I was just following the rules. Use the blood art on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car, laced with a non-lethal sleeping aid. Thank you again for choosing Mirage Express. Staff. See? What's that? It says, use the blood art on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car, is laced with non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing Mirage Express. Staff. What's this instructions? I was given a blow dart along with that card. It's signed the staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on this train. What? We have the larger picture here. Who instructed the arms to attack? Who? Or what? I. Do you think a Sonic was an handled. Handed the spell, the blow dart, the train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating this behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the pictures. And for a good while, I think the train itself is plotting something. First, we learned the train's bad, Nick. Now it's out to get us. One thing you kept saying is the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has to help to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but it's clearly been tampering in on our murder mystery game. Train? Train? Come on and show yourself! Amy? It's my birthday, and I don't need nothing! Amy's hitting the wall with a hammer. I'm with you, Amy! This train can have it. Come on, Ola. Let's get another way to the train station. What's that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm -hmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted to play. Your little game, I figure it out. Going over in time, by the way. We were, we were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where are you? 
Well, right. Eggman. After I deliver you to the annoying party right to his headquarters. I'm dying. The doctor and I will be free. Laugh and play games. By the open rails. Like always. We always plan. What are you... Anna? The train's speaking up speed. I wrote the wrong something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic. <laughs> hey, button, tell me to ride. Goodbye. Ah! Oh. No. Can't keep my footing. Bunch of feathers to fall out of my pockets. Uh, my head. Nails. Amy. Uh, anyone here? Hello? Hello? Uh, no need to yell, bud. Sorry. So sorry. Uh, you okay? Hey in there. Leave the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But, where's everyone else? Great question. Now, you are it. Son of the Hedgehog is asking about me. I'm feeling nice with that. Huh? Might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Uh, you might have our own compensate there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Let me lead the way. Hey, one of those robotic arms is here, too. Now it's swiped with me. Let's leave it alone. Totally not. My goodness, the door is daunting. The train's going to everything it can to keep us from the conductor car. Let me see if I can spin dash and solve our problem. Uh, it'll take more than a few hits to get the result. Let's take it easy for now and keep looking around. There must be another way to open the door. A switch. Plastic door opening mechanism. What doors are you using that require a switch? The yellow glowing is chilly. I miss it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow, I guess. Hello! Hello! Anyone there? Why, no one's just talking to me. And this yellow glows already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Oh, oh, the spiky blue pest. Seems to finally take your passage on one of my passenger trains. <coughs> you own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Knowing that, certainly didn't talk about you and Mike in the interview. My involvement isn't well known, citizen. Infrastructure of your town, so what? Cutting for it. It. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need to be sorted out. So, I graciously got involved. Converted some cargo trains into a passenger trains for the sake of the public. Now it's more useful than future schemes. Let me guess. Another death egg. Dr. Predictable. People fear giant spears. It's science. Let's get to the chase. Where are our friends? Searching my sturdy taverns, her pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know that this was happening? Evans, I'm now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice the passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bandit is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, wanted to be sure of things ran without my supervision. And report to me if anything of you happened no more. Yeah? Get up now. This train compatibility. Of intellectual thought is extraordinary. Speak. 
can only be accomplished by my genius. That's confirmed. This train really is in there. I say, your capture is inevitable. You're on the train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See? I got to thinking. I need a manufacturer of motivation beyond programming. Like to make my badness completely against one another from time to time. It's a good objective, really. So I instituted a bounty on my army of badness. First to capture you pathetic creatures. It's a generous reward. Train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of the robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. But highly intelligent Train asked me for something more interesting. As much as I like the award program, are you done babbling, girl? Doc, you can never win silently, can you? When you're dragging, dragged to my face, you'll regret the day you'll ever cross me, Hedgehog. Howdy, do get lost. <laughs> he always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. Great is motivation. And being made by Eggman, no doubt, powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? Train's purposely had Sonic knocked out, so it could deliver us to Eggman. The whole time, we're in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt, and the doctor committed the capture. Should have made more absurd of it earlier. I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey! I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry. Get the road stuff. Easy questions and decisions they got here. But when negativity hits you, let it pass. And keep living. Need you here helping me to think through this before I do something rash. See, one of them is leap before you think kind of guys. Ah, uh, okay. You're right. Let's keep moving forward. Make things right. Breathe, okay? We gotta get the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. Doors have been heavy fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself. Remember the obstacle, huh? You have to take to figure it out. Entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed the head on. Rescue friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, that's one big wind up. Sonic's been dashed just fast enough to get the door open. <laughs> now the road's clear. Nothing can stop. Better hold on your pants. I don't think we can get in through a break enough after this. Ready to go? Let's do it. That's spirit. Find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Do we have to really go? Oh, great. My last adventure maxing up my ring count could give me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Just you wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Knuckles gonna join us? Portals. But of course, let's move! Train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is get off this stupid train. Let's go!
on. I thought you were supposed to be in Bass, Sonic. You gotta move, you two, alright? Always. That's spooky. Locked Amy's and Tails in the car. Conductor's car. Say no more. Let's get there. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them, begin my plans at Eggman Land, and properly, properly another death egg. They'll teleport us in the future. Tell me, you are. Oh, the future. I've already ruined the planet. Sure, I'll do whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not dare my wish be granted. <coughs> Your wish? You mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Bring me those overgrown mammals. Eh? Amen. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. We need 65 rings. Promise me! You promise me! Let them... Let 
and speak. Unhand him. Strange. Stop this. I told you we'd be with each other forever. I am as much as a man. I am getting old. I'm tired. Excuses! How dare you abandon me! I'll be lonely! So lonely! Why must you insist on loving you to my me? No! Conductor, conductor, we still want to stop this train. This is just with the lore card from my ex best friend, the pet detective, the work that joined next band. So, this really is a pet nick. Stay for fries every second home. We gotta save him. Hold on. Let's show our full power. Well, to me, it looks like Sonic's doing everything. But sure, show everyone's full power. you can play this game without using the invulnerability.
Panicky. I'll grab the Panicky. It's over! Train's slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> yes, PK, you like this? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... I just... couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rares, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. So, I'm unemployed, huh? We did it. We did it. Well, I have to say, I've never been a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step. Watch your step. It's over. Mystery of Sonic's Hedgehog murder, especially ever. Maybe next birthday we should just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties? Where are you? Where by the end that somebody tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Oh, funny, no thanks. I've been waiting here. <laughs> you honestly never believe what happened. So, I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we need to leave for Spongana in the morning. You need a pack. Or, you need a pack? I'll pack faster in the wind. I need a vacation something here. Oh, uh, and I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems like a doctor's more than ready to begin his retirement after his ordeal. I'm happy for both of them. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. In that finicky, you will find a friend. Great job. Uh, Sitting that little guy, yes, Bob? It's the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I seriously apologize for the trouble I caused. Duffy, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blue deck. Seriously, Dart? It would have been a bit hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Uh, a blow dart does not move fast enough. Regardless, I'm sorry. We're cool. Now we're all safe. It was fun. This group is a weird, wild idea of fun. Boy. I'm starving. I never go, never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot. I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. 
If only you could see, and see me, Sonic. I'm spending footage presenting evidence of fucking health and alibis. No, you weren't. Sonic, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? Situation is the bakery, or station is a bakery. Look what I brought. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> to the competent, unshakable, radiant Amy Rennes. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable birthday party every year. The fun birthday. Right from the start to finish. Name of Friendship grow after each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your versatility. Happy birthday, Amy, and a sparkling personality. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know a personality is a word. It's not. We love you too, Amy. Happy birthday. Sonic and his friends. They all their lives in a fleeting moment and then back to things that didn't work. No! You just lost your job! You had one day on your job! So guess what? You didn't get paid squat! <laughs> Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky and clean now. As for me, I quit my job. And then, one million's in the lottery. And after that, I managed to fly to space. Yeah, and my entire life. Yep, 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 yep. Well, someone got murdered, and it was my career and my voice. I hope everybody enjoyed this. I think what we're gonna come back and do um, is maybe a few episodes of Tears of the Kingdom, um, or maybe something else. I haven't fully decided. Um, just something a little bit different, something we can play and just stop and start. Um, not be dictated too much to time. Uh, I did want to play one game, uh, but it's being difficult. And I do plan to play Super Mario RPG when it comes out. Uh, we will be launching that. Of course, the game releases on the 17th, which will be a stream in two weeks. So, what we'll be doing is we'll... In two weeks, we'll be back with... Super Mario RPG. We'll figure something out for Sunday, next Friday, and next Sunday before that comes out. Um, maybe something will run along on opposing days. 
Uh, until then, we will be back tomorrow, despite if my voice is bad or not. Um, we'll be back to do Dining and Dittles. Um, as always, if you have a request for Dining and Doodles, please leave it in the comment below or message us on the socials. Uh, we have had a couple people put in, uh, but we are still trying to fill all our quota for the year. So, we're going to be coming into December, and we have a few slots left open. So, if you have something you want to draw in, and if you are a Sonic fan, you like us playing this, I don't know why, but if you like us playing it, and you want us to draw some Sonic characters, you know, even if it's your own OC, Sonic Chew, uh, kind of not, no, we, we, we will block Sonic Chew, sorry, there's too much problems there, but yeah, if you want us to draw a character, let us know. And we'll add it to our list. And starting the new year, hopefully, we will have some new things. I know I'm going to be working on upgrading a lot in the new year. Um, particularly with the equipment. Starting with the PC. Uh, we're going to try and get something a little more powerful so we can play some of the more powerful games through Steam. And... Hopefully we'll be able to play some games that I've been wanting to play for a while on streams. And if there's a game you want us to check out, or if you want us to return to Undertale, let us know. And that helps us out. Um, one thing, we are no longer being sponsored by Built Bar because the sponsorship set up with, um, the company that's running the branding kind of has screwed us over and made it kind of impossible to get the codes. But uh, I do thank you all for joining in. And uh, if you have a sponsorship, hey, you want to do things. I'm looking at you, Jersey Mikes. Oh, this is April Fool's Observe joke. Okay. Well, Sega, you should have killed them all. You should have killed him off. I mean, his career's dead already. Let's just close that. As I say, our closing elements here. I always want to thank you for joining in tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, a wonderful week, and a wonderful year. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.